first time Colombia has had a team qualify for the Olympic Games. Estefania Alvarez and Monica Arango. <laughs> seconds on the deck walking on and then the whistle goes then they're just allowed another 10 seconds otherwise there'd be a point penalty and they always try to take the seat on their walk on they're not choosing to go in the assistances to start straight into the I'm going bigger let's see if they get those hits around pretty good come on maximum height good lifted just at the end there very slightly falling off the spin at the end. This will be interesting on the flexibility because one of the swimmers is more flexible than the other, which you can hide in the choreography for free program. You can't get away with it in a technical program because you have to show the split. Exactly the same height, which I imagine is quite important. Yes, it really does help if you're very compatible in the water. If not, you have to work hard to make sure the levels are correct on those spins. To make sure you keep this pose exactly at the same time. Good performance from them here so far. First time that Colombia have had the duet at the Olympics. Beautiful sculling technique underneath the water arms going above the head for the spin their hope from these games is that more people will take up the sport in their home country first into the Olympic Games in 1984 some countries have had a great history in it the likes of the Canadians superseded really by Europeans, the Russians in particular, and the Asians with the Chinese, Japanese. Good height on the shoulders. Excellent synchronization on that. The ATs from the free program and the technical program as well. And they'll be, I'm sure, staying on to support everybody else in the finals and then in the team event later in the week. We've got in the end. This will be interesting on the flexibility because one of the swimmers is more flexible than the other, which you can hide in the choreography.